Um, all of you global warming believers, I mean, do you re do you realize you're like you realize you're being fooled, right? They're pulling your chain. Like you're being you're being fooled. You know, it's a flat earth bottle. You you don't real you don't realize it's a flat earth bottle. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Here I'll show you. I'll show you it's like a dang flat earth bottle. Y'all being fooled. Okay, here, look. When they go to sell you a solar panel, they're they're like totally fooling you. There's no global warming from from carbon dioxide. It's it's total nonsense. Here, let's go over here. Like look at this. Okay? Uh I got to get a pencil. Look at this. It says the sun. Check this out. The sun dumps 1000 watts per meter square at sun level on a clear day. Like WM2, that's that's uh that's watts per meter squared per second. So you got like a 1000 watt light bulb just imagine a thousand watt light bulb spread out over one square meter every second. It's like a one square meter solar panel every second. Yeah, that's what they're doing. It's uh, being spread out. Now let's go over to the global warming model here. Boom. The IPCC. Here, let me take this off of this mount. The IPCC official global warming model. Check this out. 342. What happened to the 1,000? You know what they do? That 1,000 watts that was hitting that solar panel, that intense sunlight that was hitting that solar panel, what they do is they spread it over the whole entire Earth. So, so the sunlight, they have it hitting in this model, in this model right here, they have the sunlight spread out over the whole earth. You know what you do when you mathematically spread the sunlight out over the entire earth? You've, the only way you can do that is to flatten the earth mathematically. You flatten the earth. It's a flat earth model. They spread it out over the whole earth, the dark and the light side. Well, what that does, that makes the sun so weak that it can't even create the weather anymore. See, look at this. This is like all small. I gotta zoom in on it here. This is how the sun works. It hits really intense right there at the equator. Up here, it does not hit that intense. It's all spread out. So it's weaker up here. The sun, it's weaker down there. It's like really intense at the equator. They spread this really intense and this unintense stuff over the dark side, over, over all of this. And what it does is it's like a laser you know, like, you can get burnt by a laser. Well, if you spread the energy of the laser out, like, you get, like, a... You get, like, a lens or something, and you spread out the energy of that laser over a large area, it won't burn you no more. That's what they do on this model right here. They, they spread it out over the whole Earth... 342 watts per meter square. You know what that is? That's minus 18 degrees. So like, they end up like, see how they fake this? This is like, they got it round, but like their math is flat because they're spreading it out over the whole earth. Like, people don't know what latent heat is. Like, like they're, they're saying, like if this is minus 18 degrees, latent heat like is whenever you turn water to water vapor 
you know, when it changes from one state to another, it requires like a lot of energy to do that, you know, to change water to water vapor. Now think about it. If this is minus 18 degrees sunlight, how is minus 18 degrees sunlight going to change water to water vapor if this is below freezing? See, what they do is they say the sun, they spread out the sun over the whole earth to where it's so weak it can't create the weather. And then they have a loop, like this feedback loop over here. The greenhouse gas, CO2, it's not even, like, it's not a greenhouse. A greenhouse, like, when your car gets hot in the, in the summertime, the only reason it stays hot in your car is because your windows are up. If you open your windows, it lets all the heat out. It mixes with the other air. The only reason it gets hot in your car is to, there's no circulation of the air. Well, this is the open atmosphere. If the ground gets hot, like, it'll heat the air and then the air rises. And, like, that's where you get clouds. Like, the hot air rises and makes clouds. Because, like, the heat goes up. You know, the heat's trying to get away. I mean, that's what makes the clouds and stuff. Like, it's so weird. But if they say that it's minus 18 degrees sunlight, you know, it can't even melt ice. Like, that's so weird. Like, well, what makes the clouds? They're saying that this loop right here, like this trace gas in the atmosphere. This is so dumb. This trace gas in the atmosphere, it heats the earth. And then heats the earth again. It's like it doesn't have no chemical reaction. It doesn't have no nuclear reaction. It's this tiny amount of gas. Like how is it going to make... They're saying that this makes twice as much energy as the sun does. Like the, the this trace stuff. And then like if the ground got hot, the hot air would just rise to outer space and let the heat out, radiate into space. Like, this is just all nonsense. Like, like that, like right there. Like, well, so what is it? Is is it minus 18 degrees sunlight? Like, when they go to sell you a solar panel, let me go back to the solar panel page. When they go to sell you one of these solar panels here, all of a sudden they say the sun dumps 1,000 watts per meter square on a clear day. So what is it? Is it 342? Is the sun intense or is it not intense? See, over in this model, they make it so that it's not intense so that they can blame it on CO2 so that they can make a bunch of rules and regulations in the government and fool people so that they could control the power supply so that they can destroy the, you know, if they want to destroy the economy or destroy a nation. I mean, like, like, did y'all know, did y'all know that, like, solar panels are made out of coal? That's why they're black. They get, like, coal. Yeah, they're like, that's what it is. Like, people don't know nothing, man. Solar panels are made out of coal. That's why they're black. You, did, you didn't know solar panels were made out of coal? Like, okay... I live in North Carolina. They have like, uh, they've got like this really pure quartz up here in, I think it's like in Sapphire or something. That's the name of the place. I think it's called Sapphire. They got really good quartz. Well, they take some of that quartz and then they mix it with the coal and then they melt it together with a lot of energy. They probably use a coal fire power plant because that's the only way you can get it really hot. And then they probably got a bunch of coal there anyways. So they mix the coal. And they mix some of the silicon. Or the quartz or whatever. And then they heat it up. And they melt it. And it makes a solar panel. A coal panel. Well, this video is getting a little bit long. So I'll just leave it there. That's why... I don't believe in wind and solar pan coal panels. 
don't believe in that. It's not really green.